my name is Helen, and I'm a teacher and an ESL instructor living and working here in the United States. I want to share with you some secrets about learning English. Well, there are so many people who want to do it. So some people started to learn it at school. Some people when they became adults. There is no magic about it. You can learn English learning it. Learning English is like learning to drive your car. And uh, you need to have this practice every day. And on a real road, uh, reading just you know, reading the rules, how to drive a car won't work. It is to some point useless. So, you are in the United States and, oh my gosh, all the science, all the information is in English and it is important to understand it. Of course, you can have a friend with you, but uh, your one of your best friend is your dictionary. So your dictionary can be just installed on your cell phone. It can be a dictionary or it can be a dictionary or a translator and just you can use it on the move. You put the phrase in the translator and it'll help. So you can use your translator, uh, you can use some picture dictionary, um, of course <laughs> it, it is about some prepared meeting. Picture dictionaries are very comfortable to use, so if you want to share a recipe with your friend if you want to cook together. So please uh, do look at the pages with the names of fruits and vegetables and uh, if you do not know how to pronounce uh, something like for example you do not know how to say word number nine as for the vegetables please do check your Cambridge dictionary. So guys if you want to use this dictionary online, it's a very good idea. Well, for example, we need to know this new word. You put it into your search line. Okay. Now we click on the American pronunciation. Lettuce. If you want British pronunciation, click here. Lettuce. But still, we are speaking today about American pronunciation, American English. Lettuce. Okay. So, and we have the explanation. It is our English English dictionary. A plant of large green leaves eaten raw in salads. So, some of you maybe do not know this word. Okay, so... You click on this word and now you click on the pronunciation. Raw. Below you can find the explanation, so it means not cooked. And uh, if you still have a problem um, understanding this word, scroll down and you can find the translation of this word. So, for example, now you have it, the translation in Russian. So, сырой. But you can choose any languages. Also, do not forget to check the names of the kitchen utensils you need to use while cooking. And also, you can look at the actions uh, people do when they prepare food, like cut, slice, peel, stir. Of course. When you drive your car, you should be attentive, you should look 
what's going on on the road, but still, you can listen to your radio or the very slow traffic all around the perimeter this afternoon. In the city, of course, 75 southbound watching delays from Howell Mill getting down to the connector at 75, 85 southbound. That's going to slow you down. So it is useful to know which way to go or not. Or you can just listen to your favorite songs. Every single day of your life, I'm the whisper inside. Won't let you forget. Well, actually, I'm not very serious about the meaning of this song but what i'm listening to what is going on now my brain is is really soaking in english and i'm getting some useful rhythm patterns so watch as much as you can listen to as many uh, radios podcasts uh, as you can and uh, when you see the face of the person especially the face of the native speaker just look at the face and copy the face so guys I would love to recommend you this channel this very channel um, the name is Rachel's channel she's a native speaker and she helps people to sound like a native speaker so let's watch it for two minutes a lot of people ask me if it's possible to sound like a native speaker a lot of people ask me so the first thing i notice is this t is a flap t it sounds like a d a lot of that's because it's coming between two vowel sounds i also notice that i hear these three words as one unit a lot of, a lot of, with the stress happening on the middle word. A lot of. A lot. Another good idea is to watch TED's talks. So TED's talks are interesting people who are coming with great ideas, helping people to solve any issues. For example, these two guys, they have created their own method to learn any language so you can watch you can listen they speak very clearly but it was never easy it always felt difficult it always felt like i was a little out of place now contrast that to that my more recent experience in spain if you still need some help click here on the subtitles now you see we have subtitles once again we have the motivation and opportunity but this time we have the no english rule from the there are a lot of tv shows like jimmy fallon's tv show let's do this are you ready justin what is our uh, preferred mode of transportation when we're hanging out outside of the show <laughs> <laughs> i know this one i think you do if I think what you're doing is what you're doing. <laughs> it's so stupid, too. <laughs> I think you had the same one, right? I'm going to reveal mine. We'll reveal the same time. Ready? Is it t uh, tandem mic? If you are already thinking about your business, watch Shark Tank. In this video, you'll hear about business ideas of a very young entrepreneur he is 14 years old first into the tank is an entrepreneur with an easier and more appealing way to drink healthy beverages hello sharks my name is carter costler i'm from virginia beach virginia and my company is the define bottle Today, I'm seeking $100,000 in exchange for 20% equity in my company. There is an epidemic of soda in our refrigerators. Everyone knows these sugary drinks are bad for you, yet the average American continues to drink one or two cans a day. You should be grabbing a water, but plain water is just so boring. If only there were a simple and healthy way to make water more exciting. 
Oh, that's right, there is. Introducing my product, the Define Bottle, a simple and beautiful way to take fresh Rupees water to go. Let me show you how it works. First thing you're gonna do... So guys, so far we have discussed three main points about learning English. Number one, you need to learn English like you learn to drive your car. On a real road, that means in a real life situation, if it is possible, or with the help of native speakers. You need to do it every day. And uh, every day you need to do other important things. Okay, you are not in an English speaking country, but you can watch TV, read, uh, watch TV channels, you can read some articles, you can read your friend's email in English, just make a rule with your friends. No other language but English. Well, you can listen to millions of podcasts or watch billions of TV shows, which some of them I have already recommended to you. And just the main idea of all this listening, listening and watching is just to make your brain soak in English, in English only. You can do it. You can do it from any country of the world. In our next video, we'll discuss more secrets of learning English. Do not miss it. See you guys. Bye. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe to my channel. How to do it? Well, you go to any page and find YouTube. Okay. I will find it again here. So you type YouTube and then in the search line of YouTube, please write letter type, letter H for Helen and Hale for the last name. Then please click on the button Enter, Enter, so we are here. And you can see my channel, AAA. You click on the channel and then here you go to the button subscribe it. Click on it please. See you next time. Bye.